Hello, this is Stephen again, the man with the hat, and most of my subscribers know that I basically have three different types of videos on my channel. The main one is metal detecting, and then there's wombling, and then of course I've got people who ask me all the time what software do I use to make those videos. So I now also make a few videos on how to use the Wondershare video editor. It's very simple to use. It's based along the similar lines of the one that comes standard with Windows, um, but it's much more advanced and much more flexible. You can do all sorts of wonderful things with it, and you can do it just in a couple of keystrokes. So what I want to do first of all uh, on this video is show you how to make a copyright logo for your videos. Um, I know that YouTube does have a branding feature which you can click upload an image and it adds it to all your videos but you sometimes don't really want to put it in a particular place in case it obscures something so this is how I do it it's very simple to do and first of all we have to create this picture here and um, I did that by choosing a picture of me in Florida in 2012 when I went abroad from the UK to Miami uh, to take part in the Spartan Endurance event for charity. I quite like the picture. Um, I've taken thousands of pictures and had thousands taken of me, and there's very few that I like. And we all have our favourite, so you start with that one by cutting it and taking it the background, and you'll end up with that. Simple. Then we move on from that by uploading it, going import, selecting it, and importing it here so um, you'll see here that this is my channel bumper my branding and I don't have my copyright logo on the branding because I've already got my ugly mug on there already now we're just going to import a little bit of video and then I'm going to show you how to add the copyright logo Righty ho, I've got a bit of video here, just a short piece, which I'm just going to drag to the timeline there so that it carries on. After my opening channel bumper, there you go. I'm just going to mute that by right click, mute, and now of course I want to add my logo on it. But I'm also going to put something at the end of the video to encourage people to watch the next video and this is also very simple and I want to expand this timeline just by dragging this up here and you can see now there we go it fits in the window so you've got the opening channel bumper they've got the end channel bumper and you've got the piece of video in the middle and that's the piece you want to put the copyright logo so what we're going to do is take that uh, piece of uh, imagery and drag that into the picture in picture section and this is called pip1 and as you add the pip into there so it adds pip2 so you can keep on adding pictures in picture and you can see now the problem it's too big and it's got the white background and um, it's not really suitable to be just there so I'm going to drag this to the start at the same place as the main video trailer and now I'm gonna right click that and go to green screen edit you don't have to have a green screen as long as it's one solid background color in this case white and you can see the image comes up just like it does on there once you get there the chroma key green screen feature should be already selected and just to the left make up parts of the clip transparent just to the left of that should be a little box when you mouse it and the current color is black but once you've ticked that your pointer becomes a dipper so you can then choose the color so go on the background click that to make it white so now the current color to make transparent is white but you can see it's a bit rough around the edges so you can take the intensity level and just drag that up until you've got rid of all the white in that piece and then click OK. There we go. Done. 
except it's too big and it's not yet in the right place. So we'll just grab the handle and reduce that to the size that we want and then drag it to put it into the place that we want. And then of course we need to grab this image by the handle at the right hand side and drag it until we get to there which is the beginning of the end bumper we don't want it on there either because it will get in the way of the picture here so now <clears throat> if I apply it from there you'll see what happens in this top right hand corner when the main video starts the copyright logo comes up as well and when you get to the end you can see it disappears now this is a picture in picture and that means you can cut sections so if you for example wanted to cut the copyright logo there all you do is cut select where you want to cut it from and cut again select it and then press delete on your keyboard to remove it so now you can see it disappears in the top right corner for that period of time there on the video and then comes back when you get to that piece there so that's really easy and you can add as many as you want you can have a, a copyright logo and something else down this corner and if you've been a subscriber of mine now for a little while you may have noticed I've got one or two other videos on how to use the Wondershare video editor and I've also got the chroma key green screen video as well which is a bit similar to this one but it actually shows you how to use a green screen so um, putting a an image in the background whilst you appear in the foreground that sort of thing is basically the same principles and and uh, you can find that on my video channel but what now I want you to do is to take a look at me just adding this little button here basically that's a video that I've done before on how to use the split screen in a full tutorial and I've just added that as a pip over that image there and reduced the size and placing it there so at the end of the video this is what you'll see and you can click on that to watch this tutorial and you can click on that to subscribe so I hope you've enjoyed the video um, if you have please do give us a thumbs up share and leave a comment for me please on anything else you'd like to see me demonstrate to you and I'll do my best to deliver it for you thanks for being with me and I'll catch you later